I've just received my most expensive minifigure haul from an individual seller, and it's all inside this box. So let's get this open and see what's inside. So I've actually kind of already opened this just a tiny bit. I haven't got out any of the figures, but I was just so excited to see what's inside here. So let's open it up. And there's all of the figures, as you can see, all in bags. I'm not gonna really show you guys, but here's a sneak preview. Very cool figures and loads of them. First in this haul, there are actually some poly bags. Oh, I just accidentally dropped blue milk Luke out the poly bag, but I knew that I was open. So let me go and get him. There we go, we've got blue milk loop, but that's open to, yeah, so what I was saying, there are poly bags already in this, so I'm going to go through these first. First being the blue milk loop, that is open though, but I just asked him to throw in the poly bag to see how that was quite cool, but then we have 2012 Star Destroyer poly bag, quite cool one. Oh, this is quite a rare one, um, it's the 2011, I think, ATSD, and then we've got the 20. 23 um ATSD poly bag from the Hoth ATSD and then we've got a first order officer as well poly bag that's quite a cool one to have but none of them really too good now I'm going to get into the first bag which is going to be this one at the back which has some very cool figures as you can already see a Jabba the Hutt is in this one so let me get this open and see what's inside so if we get this open like that and then there we go, look how big the Jabba the Hutt figure is. It's just a great figure as well. But, I mean, I am selling all of these and whatnot, so make sure you guys check out my whatnot, glitch underscore shops. But, and he's going to be coming out in the UCS sale barge if it does come out, I think, later on this year. So, I need to sell him quick. It's actually quite cool figures in there, like Clone Wars, um, what's it called, Darth Maul. Very cool um, TC droid. I don't really know... What is that TC droid? I'm pretty sure it is. I don't really know what name it is though. Christmas, um, Darth Maul, another Darth Maul. Found, got the hair, head piece for that. Then we've got Red Arm C3PO. I love the Red Arm C3PO. Loads more Darth Mauls. Try and get to the interesting one. TC4. That's a very cool one. That's from a poly bag as well. I don't know what's happening with the teeth though. I've never seen that actually. That's like, why is there like teeth on it? That could be a misprint, but that's a very cool figure. Um, then we've got the shirtless Darth Maul. This was also in another poly bag, a very cool one as well. I really like this figure here. Yeah, these figures should all be in good condition, as the seller did describe to me, and looking like they are currently, but we'll have to see with that for all the figures. Another Darth Maul. Another TC unit. I think this could be TC4 as well, but just a very old version. But that's going to wrap... Oh, no. I was going to wrap it off, but then I saw Savajo Press. A very cool one. Darth Maul's brother. Another very cool and expensive one. So that's a <laughs> good one that I didn't miss out on. And now let's get to the next bag. So moving on, I'm going to open this massive bag here. Full of loads of figures. So let's get this... Cut open. Careful not to accidentally maybe cut out some of the figures. This is a big bag of figures here. So as I can already see, just some um, phase one clones. Uh, that's a bit gross. A bit of hair came with them. Um, then we've got a wolf, old wolf. That's a very cool and expensive figure. Um, we've got, oh, I forgot what this guy's name is. But he's another cool figure. Expensive one. Horn Company. Everyone loves these ones and whatnot. And I'm assuming everywhere else because they go for quite good prices and whatnot. Um, then we've got a some Fiber First Troopers. A Clone Captain or Commander. Phase 1. Animated. Um, we have a, a Sarge Ventress. Very cool one here. From the, like, what's it called? I don't know, one of the um, Starfighters, Anakin Starfighter, one of them. So I was just digging through and I got my hands on an Urza Bridger, a very cool one from the new Rebel, not the new Ahsoka TV show, but he's not actually from that, I know that, guys. And then also a 187 Trooper. I also found old Captain Rex, which I knew this guy was in him, and I'm pretty sure old Regger is. Gregor, I mean, not Regger. Um, but... 
very cool one. I've never had this figure, so that's a very cool one that I will be able to sell and whatnot. Or maybe I might add that to my collection. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've got a chrome Camp Dooku lightsaber there. Can't remember if I do have actually have got a Camp Dooku in this. I've got another 187. Before we get to the next figure, I want to tell you guys about my What Not Auction next Friday. Any of the figures you are seeing in this video, well, you're in luck. Friday, I'll be a part of What's Not Con, where I'll be selling all of these figures, with most of them starting at £1. Selling a Phase 2 Captain Rex at £1. Skipping away the new Tantive Hallway set. And also get £10 when you sign up on What's Not by using my link in the description. Technically, you could get this TC4 for absolutely free. Secure yourself a clone trooper. Go to my What's Not glitch underscore shops and bookmark my stream or use the link in the description to get £10 when you sign up. Thank you guys so much, and let's get back to the video. It's true, but those are really good ones. And speaking of Count Dooku, here we go. It's not the £60 version from the 2013 um, Jewel on Geonosis set, but it is a very, still a very cool one, the Clone Wars edition. We have, wow, what is this figure? I've never seen this guy in my life. If you guys know what this is, please let me know in the comments because that could be a rare figure, I have no clue. Um, any more? 187th Trooper. I'm trying to find the Gregor in here because I'm assuming he's in here as well. Got some Geonosis Airborns as well. Um, any more? I think that's it for this pile. Oh, oh no, it's not. As I keep saying that, we've got our Ark Trooper now. I love the Ark Troopers. They're such a cool and like beefy figure. That you guys know what I mean? Because it's just like it's just like a big figure and I quite like it as it's like a clone trooper and stuff. But I cannot find the Gregor, so hopefully he's in another one. And let's get another package open. Well, another bag. As I was packing all the figures away, I was able to find Gregor. That is very cool. And now let me just get everything sorted and I'll open the next bag up. So now I'm going to get this bag open here. Another one with loads of figures in. Just get that, cut the top of this. Oh, oh I just spilled all the figures everywhere. <laughs> let me just clear that up quickly. <laughs> Anyways, um, so <laughs> in this lot, we have lots of Mandalorians. As you can see, Paz Vizsla already to start it off. Very cool one. Another Bo-Katan. Well, not another, just a Bo-Katan. Um, what else do we have in here? We have Christmas Django Fett, a very cool one. Um, Boba Fett in, from the Book of Boba Fett. Um, the Armourer, the very cool figure as well. And we also do have a... Um, what's this one called? Previsa? No, it's not called Previsla. Gar Saxon, that's where, that's where it, oh, what it's called. I was going to say, I actually, I love that figure and I was going to forget his name. Also, Bib Fortuna, very cool one. And that's going to wrap it off for this bag. So let's get to the next one. So let's get to the next bag. Looks like it's a lot of Imperials. And if you guys are wondering why, um, like, there's not that, like three figures in that bag. It's just because I'm trying to speed everything up to make this guy's a uh, nice quick video for you guys, so I'm not just going through every single individual figure. But in this one, there is quite a cool one. We have Moff Gideon. I love this figure, and it's such a hard one to, like, actually find in, like, big bundles. And it's just a very cool figure that I like to sell, I like to have. And it's quite an expensive one as well. So, I've got loads of Stormtroopers in this lot. We've got um, the Finn from the Poly Bag, so, like, the Stormtrooper Finn. Sabine Wren, very cool one. Sadly, no helmet, but that's okay. Any more rarer ones in this lot? Not really. We've got General Viz from the 202080. And that's going to be it for the rare ones in this lot. So let's get on to, I think, the third to last bag. So, wow, I have had a look at this a bit. And there are some very cool figures in this lot. And starting off, we have the old Ahsoka. Oh my gosh. This figure here goes for like 250 to 300 pounds. Such a good figure. Make sure it's in good condition. Amazing figure this is. Wow. <laughs> 
what's an amazing and expensive figure that one is there and then pulling off from that we have the youngest Ahsoka I've ever, I think they've ever made the Padawan Ahsoka there or well, no Padawan like young not the young thing I don't really know the one you see in the Clone Wars movie we have Padawan Ahsoka here though another very cool one goes for about 40 pounds very rare figure as well and then we have some Padme's Padme from the gunship with the toured um uh what's it called shirt lots of people like this one and whatnot so that's a good one to have and then young Padme as well then we have the Ahsoka from Siege of Mandalore as well as the Clone Wars Padme that has recently been made in the Coruscant Guard gunship and then to end off this bag we have another very expensive and rare figure Queen Amidala An amazing one this one is what's that there I think that's just a bit of a stain I can clean that off but yeah here we go a very cool figure an expensive one really like this one and let's get on to the second to last bag so here we go the second to last bag you could have seen some figures from that there this one is amazing there's so many rare figures in here and starting it off we have the grand inquisitor no um torso bit though but that's fine because i knew that and then we have um young boba fett from 2002 Jango fett slave one another very cool we also then have a boba fett older version he's not really a rare one um what next do we have oh here's the anakin that comes with this um a savage um not savage a sarge ventress not savage but oppressed he's a completely different guy um then we have a random droid i did not realize that was in this one then we have cad bane the older version a very cool one as well i love cad bane um, next up we have the fifth brother inquisitor which is a very cool one as well as white boba fett wish it was the older version from the poly bag but that one will do then we have an old boba fett here one of the very cool ones and the one with like the helmet that's the jetpack as well very cool one as well next up we have commander fox i love the clone commanders especially from the earlier years and then we have a chrome stormtrooper a very very cool one i love the chrome troopers or well, chrome figures and that's not i'm not troopers and then after the chrome stormtrooper we have the chrome tc4 as well another amazing figure here i love the chrome figures and then for the last figure of this bag we have commander wolf another very cool commander and I'm so glad to have this. And then the last figure of this lot, it says the 2002 Django Fett. A very amazing and expensive figure this one is. Literally a collector's dream to have this figure here. And let's make sure it's all in good condition first. Just checking. And it's looking like it is. Oh my gosh, no. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a massive torso crack. Let me try and find that for you guys. If you can see it there. There's a massive torso crack on this. I thought the seller said those were all in good condition. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to quickly try and get a refund for this figure here. And please wish me good luck. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.